Hi everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial from Learn Microdic Configuration Series. Today's topic is about how to secure Microdic VPN server access for authorized user only. In this video, I will show you how to secure VPN user access to your Microdic VPN server. This will work on any type of VPN server whether you configure your Microdic router as PPTP, VPN, or Alto TP VPN or Open VPN server. Security is a big concern. So I'll show you how you can give access to your VPN server from authorized remote user only. Suppose your worker wants to connect from a remote location. First you ask his public IP address. And in most cases, users get connection by PPPoE service where they provide only username and password or netted IP. Okay, now to find public IP address, we usually ask users to go to browser, just like here, go to the browser and type what is my IP address.com. Click enter. Okay, this is the public IP address of my laptop PC. In this way, we can collect his public IP address. Okay, let's see our lab. This is the Microdic VPN server and the one IP address is 192.168.137.2/24 and the LAN part is 192.168.1.0/24 block. And my remote user is sitting somewhere here in the cloud. Okay, now I log into my Microdic VPN server. Okay, I have already configured PPTP VPN server here. Let me show you PPT. This PPTP server I have enabled it, and I have created a user test and services PPTP. This user will get IP address from the same range of server local address block, which is 192.168.1.0/24. So he will get 192.168.1.241. I have specified it. Okay. okay, now we will set rule for authorized VPN user access only. To do this, we will go to the IP and then firewall. Okay, first we will create an address list where we put all the trusted user IP addresses. So whenever we allow a user as trusted VPN user, we will add his public IP address in there. So we'll go to the address list, plus sign to app, give name. user okay for test basis i'm adding my laptop ip address here as a trusted vpn user so i have used my laptop ip address here to see the effect you okay, now go to the filter rules set the rules plus side to add in the chain input protocol tcp destination port we will add some port all types of VPN port. If we use for IPsec, one this is for Alto TP. This one is for PPTP. One nine four, which is used for Open VPN. Okay, so this will work for any kind of VPN server, not just PPTP. Okay, in the advanced tab, source address list, head our address list, trusted VPN server. So whenever someone tries with this port and to connect in this router, if it's not the trusted VPN server, so I will tick this one. So the rule will not apply for this action we will reject it so if someone not from this trusted VPN user it will reject right okay okay I have already configured VPN client on my laptop and I will try to connect from that VPN client to do this we will go to the start menu I click on start menu go to the settings Click on the network and internet. 
and then to the VPN. This one I have configured. Let me show you the quick view. This is the server address of the VPN server address and VPN type is PPTP and my user and password. Okay. Click on the connect. Yes, it is connected. So if we go back to my micro browser and if I go to the active connections, you can see that the user test is connected with the IP address of 192.168.1.241. Now to see things more clear, I will change my rule a bit. Go back to my router. Go to the filter rules. Now I will not allow trusted user to connect. Just tick this box to the default state. So what will happen here if someone from the trusted list try to connect this router will reject. Fine, okay. Now I'll try to connect again. Okay, you see I cannot connect to VPN server now. Yeah, you can see we got some heat here. So the rule is working. So this error indicates that my rule is working. So this way you can secure your VPN server from unauthorized access. And it is very important to secure your VPN server. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.